Hey guys, Vinny Howes from Epicenter Outdoors here. I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how to set up your Cuddyback cell cam and also how to link them to your J series or G series cameras. All right guys, first things first, I'm gonna show you how to install these batteries. In this K series camera, cell camera, it takes six D batteries. This year we ran array of Vax and got just over 150 days, which is awesome battery life. That's about five months worth of pictures. So I just wanna hurry up and show you how to install these batteries. You got this one little screw here. I grab like a quarter, a little flathead, and you can take it, loosen it up, take the screw out. Then it loops around here and you pull this off. Flip that up. And then you get to your battery compartment. There's a little diagram on here. It says, there's a little arrow to show which way the batteries go up. See, there's the positive side facing toward me. There's the positive side facing away from me. It also has a plus and minus, so you can know which way the batteries go in there. So you just follow the diagram, throw them in there. Take six, six Ds. Throw it in there, flip your little clasp over it, shut it up, take your screw, pop your screw back in there. Now once you get your batteries in, your camera automatically starts the setup process. So you get the batteries in, and then you just follow the screen. It says press up, it'll take you to the clock, and then you press up again, and then you can change your time. Once you get your time set up, then you hit this more button right here. I'll show you the interface. You got mode, more, and then your two arrows. All right, so once you get your time set up, you hit more and it'll take you to the date. This one's actually set up because I used it, but the batteries were just dead. So I just replaced the batteries and you can just go through, hit the up arrow, change whatever you gotta change, hit more, you'll get to the next setting, next setting. There you go, that's simple. I'm gonna run through each one of these menus to show you a quick overview of what each thing is. Every time I hit this mode button, it'll cycle me through each one of these settings. And to go through each one of these categories, you have to hit the more button. So I'll show you that right now. So this is the test menu. And if I hit more, this walk test shows me exactly what the camera will take a picture of. So when I put it on a tree, I can walk by it and this red light will flash when I walk by, okay? If I hit more, it can reset the test and it'll show you the battery tests and the filters and the, it'll test the LEDs, SD card test, image test. So this is your, all of your tests are in this menu right here. All right, so now that we went through the test menu, I'm gonna show you what this commands menu is all about. So I hit mode to switch to the, co the commands menu. The first thing that pops up, it shows you your battery level. So I just put brand new batteries in this, so it's gonna say battery okay. The two things that it says will either be battery okay or battery low, or if it's dead, it'll say that it's dead. So once you go through here, you can hit the down arrow and it'll show you how many days you have on your battery. And it'll also show you how many pictures you have on your battery. Okay, so I'm gonna hit more and it'll take me to clearing those stats just in case I wanna zero them. Or I can go down to the next thing. The link menu is how you get to linking the, your other cameras. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna do a more extensive thing into that. I'll show you that in a little bit. So after the link menu, your next choice is the cell menu. So that's important for this camera because this is your cell camera. And I'm gonna show you how to set up your account on Cuddyback's website, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. I just wanna run through all these modes real quick just to show you what this interface looks like, okay? So next is the cam ID. You can name your camera. Next is the aspect, go through full, wide. So you can get a full screen picture or a wide screen picture in your aspect. Your zone can be centered, wide, IR mode, you can set it to far, close, field. I always set it to far just because it will make your IRs 
burst at a higher rate and it'll light up your picture better. Okay, so then next is your image size. You can choose whatever size image you want saved on your SD card. So automatically these cell cams send a five megapixel picture to your phone. But whenever it takes a picture with an SD card, it saves it at whatever you set this at. So you can set it at five or 20. Next is the lap size, time lapse, DST mode, and then it goes through your stats, dates, and all of that. Next is your model. This is the K-Series camera. Firmware tells you your firmware version. So if you're having problems with your camera, you can check on Cuddyback's website, and they'll show you whether you're up to date with your firmware or you might need an update. That's how you load the firmware from an SD card. And then that's that for the commands menu. Next is your settings menu. All right. So this is your setup. You can go to an advanced mode. You can go to easy mode or a surveillance mode. Okay. So with each of these, there's a different setup. So if I, I, I usually use advanced mode because you can change your settings between daytime and nighttime. So here's your daytime delay. I have it set at five seconds. You can have it as fast as possible, five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45, a minute, two minutes, whatever. You can keep going. That's however long you want your delay to be between pictures. I have mine set at five just so I don't get constant pictures of the same deer or whatever. It changes based upon what time of year it is, of course, but... I also have it set to take one picture. You can set it to take two pictures, three, four, five. It can take up to five pictures at a time. Okay, so I have mine set at one picture. Next is your daytime time lapse. I don't have mine currently on, so we'll go to the next thing. And then here's your night menu. There's the nighttime delay, nighttime image, nighttime IR. This is important too. With this K-series camera, it has the possibility of using a red IR or it also has black IR. So with red IR, you can see at a further range, it gets a further range, but with black IR, the deer, it's like completely invisible to them. To them, There's no flash. They can't see it. So if you got this camera pointed at a scrape or something, black IR would probably be the way to go. But for any field or a further distance, further range picture, you would have to go with IR, red IR. So next is the night lapse. And that's it for the settings. And then once you go through, you get your settings done and you're all set up with your commands, you hit mode one more time and then the arm menu actually arms your camera to take pictures. Right now I don't have an SD card in, so it's not gonna take any pictures. But actually, this camera has an internal memory, so it could take start taking pictures, but I don't have it set to take any at the moment. So, that's how you arm it. And then you can turn it off. But to turn it off, you have to keep it on the menu, and then it'll say confirm. You hit the up arrow, busy, and it'll turn it off. So that was a quick overview of the menus and how to kind of navigate through all of the categories that they have up here. So now I'm gonna give you a more in-depth look on how to set up your cell K-series cell cam. So the first thing you do whenever you're creating a cell plan for your new camera is you go onto cuddyback.com and you click up here on their cell management tab. It'll bring you to this menu that says sign in, cell plans, learn more. The cell plans menu will tell you all about your options with how many pictures you want a month and how much you're going to spend. But for the purposes right now, you want to click sign in and then you're going to come down here and it says register as a new user. Since I already have a camera, I have all my information here and an account already made. So I'm going to click in and show you exactly what you need to do or what this cell management app looks like. So you won't have a device in here. This is my camera. This is one I have. So it will say up here, it says add new device. You'll click that and you'll be able to name your device, whatever you want. Also, it'll tell you the model. 
you have to put in whatever model camera you have. I have the K camera, which is pictured right there. So I click that. And then once you get to these numbers here, these two fields, each camera comes with a set of numbers programmed in. So we'll have to go over to the camera now so I can show you exactly where to find these numbers to punch them in. Okay, when I turn my camera back on, it takes me to the clock menu. So what I'm gonna do is hit this mode button until I get to the commands menu. All right, then I'm gonna hit more until I get to the cell menu. Get to the cell menu, I'm gonna hit up. It's gonna say confirm, I'm gonna hit up again. It takes me to the CC mode. That's important because that's the cell mode. You wanna make sure that that's turned on. Then when you go to the right, it'll say CC rate. That's important because that's how many pictures this camera will take before it sends, okay? So I have it set to send me every one picture, but you can set it to send one, two, five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. You can have it send every hour, two hours, three hours, four, six, eight, 12, whatever. So you can have it set to send at whatever rate you want. Next is the CC test. This is important when you actually get your camera activated. So I want to show you where you find these numbers that you have to punch into the website. Okay, so I'm going to hit more again. And it brings me to CCID. I'm going to hit up, confirm. And now it's talking to the website to find out exactly what numbers I need to punch in. Once you get to the CCID and you hit up and confirm it, it was it said busy so now it's brought up those numbers that you have to punch into the website all right there's four iccid numbers okay c1 and, and i just wrote them down on a piece of paper but you can also just type them in as you go along so it, this is your first set of numbers so i'm going to take this set of numbers i'm going to come up here and i'm going to type them right in there so it says eight nine one, four, eight, okay? So then you come back down to the camera and you click the up arrow and that gives you your next set of numbers. So you just punch them in chronologically. Until you get to your fourth number, okay? So this is your last number. It's all it's all one long number. It's six, I think it's 16 digits. So once you get all of these numbers punched in, then you go to the next, hit up again, and it'll show you your IMEI numbers, okay? So there's I think there's three of these. Yeah, three, three of those. So you punch these in just like you did for the other set, okay? It's all continuous. Just punch them all in at once. Once you do that, it activates, it recognizes which camera you just activated. And then you go to the website, you get all those numbers punched in, and then you put your email in right here, your relay email address, whatever email you want, or you can also add a text to phone. And then you can pick your phone carrier, put your te telephone number in, and then you hit add. That will put your email or your phone number right down here. And then once you get these numbers punched in, you click add device and your device will pop up. So next is the billing plan. For us, we use 750 images a month. So we went with the $15 a month option. Um, with Cuddyback, it's really awesome because you can change your plan. You're not locked in unless you decide to pay for a whole year. You can do that to save five, five bucks a month. You can do that. Um, also they have this cool thing you can do, which is extra images. You pay $5 per 50 megabytes, which is another thousand pictures. So you can add extra images if you so choose. Now that your device is added, you go back to your cell menu and you want to scroll back down to that CC test. Now, when you click CC test, it'll be busy. And that means it's trying to send you a test image to your email or whatever, your phone number, whatever you put in as your relay address on the website. So mine's not gonna work because I don't have the cell plan activated, but 
whenever you add your device and you test it like this, it should send you an email in a few minutes. So once you do your cell test and it, you get your image, whether it's via your phone or your email, you're all set up. Your camera is ready to start sending you pictures. If you're still having problems or experiencing failures every time you do a test, it could possibly be a problem with the cell, your service in your area. So just keep, make sure that you keep your camera on and let it cycle through and try to connect to whatever plan you're using, your Verizon tower or your AT&T tower. It may take a few minutes, but don't worry. It will start sending you pictures whenever that test comes back as a success. If you're still experiencing issues, you can either call Cuddy back or email their con their um, customer service and they'll help you resolve it. These cameras are an amazing tool that we have been utilizing the last couple of years. And if you're interested in any of these cameras, give us a call or email us at epicenteroutdoors at gmail.com. You can check us out on our website at epicenteroutdoors.com or also like us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys for watching the video and have a blessed day.